Hi, this is Dr. Kovacs with Carolina Facial Plastics. In this video blog, I'd like to talk about the steps I take to remove a hump or a dorsal hump on the nose during a rhinoplasty. A hump on the top of the nose is one of the most common reasons why patients coming into the office considering undergoing a rhinoplasty. During a rhinoplasty, the whole goal is to create a nose that just fits the face better, that just blends with the rest of the facial features. So sometimes a hump on the top of the nose will continue to make the nose look a little bit bigger, a little bit more masculine than we would like. So the steps that I take to remove the hump is you first have to identify where the hump is. The nose is composed of cartilage at the bottom and bone at the top. The hump can be composed of either cartilage, bone of both cartilage and the bone. During the procedure, we will actually remove whatever component of the hump, if it's cartilage or a bone. And then what happens after we're done, we have to look at the nose and make sure that it's strong and that it has good shape or form to it. Some things that we'll look at after the hump removed is that if the hump was in the bony region, if we had to take a large part of the hump out in that region, there could be a gap or space between the bones in that region. If that occurs, we actually have to move the nasal bones closer together to fill in that gap. If there was a large hump more in the cartilage region, if you remove a lot of cartilage in that region, it could also weaken that area. If that occurs, we have to resupport that area with some cartilage grafts. The cartilage grafts in that area are something called spreader grafts. And what they'll do is they'll support the nose and they'll also maintain the airway so patients are able to breathe well after the surgery. I hope during this video blog that you understand better the steps and the maneuvers I take during a rhinoplasty to remove the nasal hump. Thank you.